Right, so I'm going to ask a question to AACC students this time. So once again, AACC students will be my population. And uh, I think I'm going to get 60 people in this sample. I think I'm just going to ask them, you know, yes or no, do you use the food court or the cafeteria you know, over here in the Sun Building where they have food and lunch and stuff like that. I won't consider the subway that's over there in that building, just that food court. All right. So is this simple random sampling? Let it run. I go to the front door of the, that cafeteria, mm -hmm. and the first 60 people walk through, I ask them that question. Is that simple random sampling? No way. Do you agree? Was that even close? No way. The idea is simple random sampling. Everyone gets a chance, right? Mm -hmm. Even that student in Germany gets a chance to be in the sample. The person in Germany is not going to be walking through that door, are they? Right. Exactly. Or what about the student who takes all their classes at a run of mills <coughs> in Glen Burnie campus? Are they walking through that? No. See? Mm -hmm. So that's the idea. So that's not even close to simple random sampling. By the way, there is a name for that. I'll put it way over here. That's called convenience sampling. <laughs> it's called convenience sampling. They mentioned that in 1.4. It's not hard to do, huh? I'd be done pretty quickly, but it's not very scientific as a <laughs> convenience sampling. All right, how, how about this one? Letter B. Letter B. I, uh, I go to the library, front door of the library. Every tenth person, I ask the question. And I will continue this until I get to 60 students. Every tenth person, I ask them the question, I sit there and count as people walk around. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm like, Which I, hey, I have a question for you. Is that simple random sampling? No. No. It's not even close, is it? Again, you're thinking about that student in Germany. You're like, they wouldn't be walking through that door. That, by the way, is called systematic. <laughs> it was systematic sampling. I just, like a system, I was like, every tenth, every tenth. Again, not nearly scientific. This, this is way more. This is the way to go. This idea of simple random sampling, everyone gets a shot. So, uh, how about letter C? Well, first, everyone, step one, I go to the president. I talk to the president. I have a meeting with her, and I get a list of every student that goes to AACC. Every student. And they're all assigned a number, all right? If they aren't already assigned a number, I assign a number. So I get a list of everyone who goes ACC. I assign them all numbers. And then, after that, I use a random number table or a random number generator to generate 60 random numbers so that I can contact those people. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. You're like, that's super interesting. So that's how, actually, I like how I like to assess it, all right? I like to make sure you're like, I know you could do it. There's practice problems on how you do it. they got one problem with the 50 states in the book. It's fun to do, but you know the process. All right. Hey, I'm going to go to 1.4. What's 1.4? It's called other sampling techniques. Um, you and I are going to focus on two. Other sampling methods. You and I will focus on two of them, okay? Two of them. Those two? <laughs> but they're in the section. And when I put them way over here to the side, right? Let me put a wall over here. All right, let's keep those over there. There we go. Convenience. They're in that section. In other words, I'm going to talk about stratified sampling. Stratified sampling. And there's another one called cluster sampling. They both involve groups. How about that? <laughs> Somehow they involve groups. I know. They both involve groups. Stratified sampling and cluster sampling. Hey, more importantly, both of these methods use simple random sampling in some capacity. So I want you to know that. Both of these methods, in some way, in some manner, use that simple random sampling method we just talked about, okay? Well, what goes on in stratified sampling? Well, that's where you can break up like a certain population into groups. But they're strata. They call them strata, S-T-R-A-T-A. And you go to strata. Those are homogeneous groups. So you break them up in a strata, which are these homogeneous groups. And you're like, what do you mean by that? I'm saying each one of the groups have something in common. Each group, something. And there's something about that group makes them all basically kind of, you know, have something in common. So here's an example. 
And when I go over to a high school down the road here, it's in Severna Park. Let's say there's 2,000 students in the high school. Let's say there's 500 freshmen. There's a 500 sophomores. Let's say there's 500 juniors. And let's say there's 500 seniors for simplicity. And the whole, the whole school has a total of what? 2,000 2, students. And in this case, I'm saying that 2,000 students, that's my population. Um, but I'm going to go over there and ask them a question, you know, are you considering going to AACC next year? I'm asking that question, yes or no. Take a little poll, true. But I want to use stratified sample. Right? See, some of you might go, yeah, just ask the seniors that. They're the oldest. Ask them. But I mean, is it possible? Do you agree when a junior could come here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, they know this. They're like, oh, they got, they got these jumpstart programs and all this stuff. Yeah. So it's possible. So let's say I, I decided to use stratified sample. So I'm going to get a sample size baby. Let's say in this problem. So I could get 20. Of the 500 freshmen. I could get 20 of the 500 sophomores. I can get 20 of the 500 juniors. I get 20 of the 500 seniors. This is called stratified sampling. Homogeneous groups. What makes all these the same? Well, they're all what? Freshmen. They're all freshmen. <laughs> what makes all of them have something in common? They're all sophomores. I just broke them into groups. And I took like 20 from this, 20 from that, 20 from that, 20 from that. That's because it's just something I want to do. You might say, is that better? Is that better before? No, it's not better. We can't say it's better, but it was, it was my what? intention. This is what I wanted. I wanted to make sure I had representation from all the four classes. Okay? Now, I bet someone knows this. How am I going to generate the 20 random names from the 500 random names? I mean, from the 500 names at that school. From the what technique? Random number generator. I mean, exactly, but what technique? What's the method called? Simple. Simple random sampling. So does that make sense? So, exactly. Very good. And he goes, you can use a random generator if you want to do this. But I will do simple random sampling to generate my 20 random names for this, right? All the 500 get a number, and was assigned a number, and then I go to the random number generator or random number table. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is called stratified sampling. And I can't say, oh, is this better than before? Is it better? But, you know, even a census bureau might use stratified sampling at some point. But it is a method. But it did utilize simple random sampling. All right, what's cluster sampling? Let me give you an example of this. Cluster sampling. Let's just say, ah, oh, I'm looking at airlines, everyone. I want to ask the passengers a question. And let's say it's, it's, a, it's specific. It's, um, how about Southwest Airlines? Ugh. I know. And now, South, Southwest Airlines, I know her. The one flight I know always goes from BWI to Fort Lauderdale. So I, that's the one I'm going to kind of hit on. BWI to Fort Lauderdale. FTL. There's a bunch of flights that go every day. And vice versa. They go from Fort Lauderdale to BWI. A lot of flights. Southwest is running there all the time, right? Start out early in the morning, go late at night. And uh, let's just say that there's 80 flights throughout the entire week. Okay, let's just say, so there, there's 80 flights out of the entire group, entire week. What do I want to ask them? Well, everyone, I guess for the past year, let's say they've been serving pretzels and peanuts. <laughs> so that's my question, I'm gonna ask them. Do you prefer pretzels or peanuts? <laughs> All right, now, but everyone, I'm not gonna sit at that airport seven days a week falling asleep, waiting for these airlines to come up, people come up to ask all these questions, these questions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a random sample. I'm gonna use cluster sampling. So I'm just gonna hit four flights. I'm just gonna pick four flights. I'll do it randomly from the 80. But here's the key. All, all passengers on all those four flights will get my question. So if you're like, these seem kind of the same with the groups, 
Wouldn't this four groups from all these groups? Yep. Chose it randomly. You're like, well, these are groups. But in this case, see this group right here? I only got 20 from that group. When I picked this cluster group, these four clusters, <laughs> every passenger gets my question. Pretzels, peanuts, right? I'll just stand at that door and ask them. Pretzels, peanuts, pretzels, peanuts, pretzels, peanuts. All of them get the question. Even that word might give it away. If you're, if you're reading through this section, you're like, I don't know if that's stratified or cluster. Stratified, they'd have to have something in common, right, in these groups. How do I know everyone in this flight's in common, right? I don't know that, unless it's like the Ravens football team. And they were just on all flight together. And they were going on vacation, you know, a bunch of them <laughs> going together. But yeah, and they took up the entire flight. No, 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 it's just, just four groups. But all of them get the question. So I'm going to read a couple out of the book, and I want to see if you can tell me, is it cluster or is it stratified? All right, this is a 1.4. Hey, test me, for testing purposes, I actually like to do this. I don't do a lot of multiple choice problems, but in this case, it's, it's, it's appropriate to just do a multiple choice question. Where I, I state it like the book does, and I put letter A. Is it convenience sampling? Or is it systematic sampling? Or is it a just simple random sampling and nothing else? Or is it stratified, or is it cluster sampling? This is on page 37. It's in 1.4. I am going to pick problem number 14. It's an even number. Hey, that e-text has problems like this. Practice. Cool. Also, if there's anybody in here who wants to use my step lab because it has an electronic version of the textbook, you'll need a course ID. All you have to do is email me. I'll give you that course ID. So that's for a student who, they're just a my stat lab, my math lab lover. They love it. They're like, can I get the course idea? I want to, I want to use it. Because it has an electronic version of the textbook. All right, here it is. Number number 14. What kind of sample method is this? A member of Congress wishes, wishes to determine her constituency's opinion regarding estate taxes. She divides her constituency into three income classes. Low income households, middle income households, and upper income households. She then takes a simple random sample of households from each income class. What do you all think? I'm going to go to you, Tia. Yes, yeah, she, she goes stratified. These groups, it was what? Low income, middle income, upper. Now you might disagree with that. Like, how are you defining middle income, right? But we're talking about stratified sampling. True, they were different groups. Something in common each one of these homogeneous groups. Very good. Um, well, I already did one like 13, so I won't do that. Hey, how about number 17? A farmer divides his orchid into 50 subsections, randomly selects four of them, and then samples all the trees within the four subsections to approximate the yield of his orchid. What do you think? Cluster? You too? I already saw hands coming up. Very good, Cluster. So that, that was problem number 17. So 14, stratified. I'll put strat. Number 17, that was cluster sampling. Man, you're good. And I'm looking at the clock. And when we did a great job, we got up from 1.1 to 1.4. Next class, we'll start 1.5. Safe travels this weekend. Stay safe. All right. If you have questions, stick around. Get it? Just that five minutes will save you. 15.